three saws, sharpened up, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, there's chaps on top of it. Let's move the chaps. Like I was saying, three saws. Uh, this one is my Frankenstein saw. It's got the pulling bar on it. That middle one, obviously the whole sporma. And the third one, that's actually the saw you guys saw me put into those chaps. Got it back up and running. Same bar that's on it. The only way I could figure to get the fibers out was to burn them. Thing runs like a dream. So I got a job tomorrow. I'm taking all these three saws to them. I really only need these two, but I figured I'd bring that one along because it's part of the pile of those saws that is coming soon. I have to load my log splitter on my trailer so I got to get the brush hog off the tractor, put the trailer mover on the tractor, and back the log splitter onto the trailer. It's after midnight, super dark outside, so I don't know how much I'm going to get of it, but I'll do my best. So we made it, loaded the rugged mate on that, which wasn't too bad. Here we are, we got some wood to split today. Some of it is pine that we'll be leaving. We've got Dan today. Hi. And uh, yeah, not much to it. Some of them are gonna need to be cut to 16. Some of them are a little long, some aren't. So got the pickaroon there and we're definitely gonna be using the log lift today. There are some big logs here. So we'll get to work.
cool train yard. The old trains here. So that's the pile. I mean, we probably got like, I don't know, 10 logs. And we've already got probably a truck bed full. So we're gonna get to splitting, keep going. It's the same thing over and over and over again. So I'll be back with you guys in a little bit once we make a little more progress. So this is the biggest log of the day. Uh, base of the tree, it's got a hole in it, but it's a size 12 boot there, so pretty big tree, we'll get it up on the splitter. We got a, a lot of the big pieces done already. We got quite a pile here. So what we're trying to do is just get all the pieces that are too big to handle. We'll split them here. All this little stuff he can handle and throw in the bed of his truck, but all the big stuff we want to split here. Because we can't get it in the bed of the truck. And anything that's super long like this, I've been using my little MS-170 with the homemade firewood marker right there. Cut it down. Dan's doing such a good job. got no gas in it.
split up here, I think. And then we're gonna start loading the trucks up because all this stuff that we're uh, splitting, we're gonna throw in the bed of our trucks. I think it's gonna be more than two trucks, but I guess we'll find out when we start loading it up. So we got my truck loaded up. We're about to start loading Dan's truck up and we put a little bit of a dent in the pile, but there's still a ton of wood here. Fortunately, Dan will be able to take more than I could take because he doesn't have the transfer tank in the toolbox. So this will all go to my house. I'll put it into IBC totes when I get there. And Dan sells firewood, so he just sells it out of bins at his house. It's kind of a slow process getting this all stacked in there because we're doing a somewhat nice job. Good. And uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with Dan's. Try to do a nice job, but we'll get it all stacked in there. Well, it usually splits. Well, that's not good, buddy. I think we snapped the spring. Look at his spring pack. All off kilter. He says that's normal. I say that's not. Well, we put a pretty good dent in the pile. The phone shut off because, well, iPhones do iPhone things and turn off when they get too hot, even though I had it in the shade. Got both trucks full and just a little bit of leftover. So Dan will have to make a second trip. Now we got to try to load up the splitter, which is going to be a bear because I did it last night with the tractor and obviously tractors make things easy. Two of us, hopefully we can push it on there. So it's time to load the splitter onto the trailer. Got the ramps out. Enjoy watching us struggle. The problem is there's nothing really to grab onto in the back. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. It was easy peasy. Um, I do want to... We're going to pull the... This off. Uh, I want to move it forward so those legs are on that cross yeah. <laughs> So that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. That's always good. Yay. So I made it back home, splitters all in one piece. Got a bunch of wood in the truck, which would be nice. I bet this will be about, uh, I don't know, maybe a tote and a half. Stacked in there pretty good. No issues with the splitter today. I was very happy with everything. We ended up, after we finished at the tree service, we ended up actually going to Dan's house and splitting at least another pile just as big as the first one we split at the tree service. It was eight hours of splitting today. I'm exhausted, but I'm super happy with how everything turned out. Dan enjoyed running the splitter, as most guys enjoy running new equipment. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.